God bless you. My name is Minister Red. I am the pastor of Christ Our Life Ministries located in Augusta, Georgia on 308 Rose Street, directly behind the Walmart Lowe's on Bobby Jones Expressway, Interstate 520 heading west. I want to thank you for joining me for my Thursday night Bible study. Amen. I want to thank you for joining me as well as my members. Amen. Brother Roland and Sister Brittany Peachy, Sister Selena and her beautiful husband Stan, Brother Harry Evans. Amen. Hallelujah. And we want to remember our sister Beverly Connie Evans, amen. She was a pillar of this ministry that God took home to be with him, amen, on March the 4th of 2022 this year. She will always be remembered. She will always be on this PowerPoint slideshow. We love her. We miss her. But, she kn but we know that she's with the one that we all going to be with one day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for joining my sister church. Amen. Spirit of Living is Ministries every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Amen. Join my brother. Amen. Pastor Kenya King. Amen. And his beautiful wife, Sister Donna King. They are located in Casita, Columbus, Georgia. Amen. Spirit of Living is Ministries. If you want to hear a word from God, then you ought to join him, amen. Hallelujah. A word from God. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. I am on YouTube. I am on YouTube, amen. There are over 200 messages on YouTube in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All you got to do is type in my name, Roderick Red, with two Ds in the name of Jesus. Hit the search button, and my picture will come up in a white shirt. And you will be able to listen to, it's actually 226 messages currently out there, amen. Hallelujah. I looked at it the other day. There are 226 messages out on, amen, YouTube. Hallelujah. God bless you, boo-boo. I love you. Thank you for joining your daddy tonight. Hallelujah. I am on YouTube in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight's message. Tonight's teaching, then climate, then climate, hallelujah, the name of Jesus. You know, when I went in the army, I went in the army at 17 years old, and they, uh, my first duty station was Korea, hallelujah, and then when I left Korea, they flew me to Seattle, Washington. They flew me to Fort Lewis, Washington. I landed in Tacoma, Washington, and I saw the biggest mountain, Mount Rainier. I was like, what in the world is that? I have never in my life seen the mountain so massive in my life. I mean, there is no way you could go. You could go to Seattle. You could go to Tacoma. You could drive all the way. Mount Rainier was, did not disappear. My God, there was a mountain, Mount Rainier in the Puget Sound area of Seattle, Washington, Tacoma, Washington, Puyallup, Washington. Amen. Hallelujah. Mount Rainier. What a mountain. What a mountain. What a mountain. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, if you have faith, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. He says, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. If you have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you for another opportunity to come up for your presence and to tell you that we love you. We are nothing without your protection. We are nothing without 
our guardian angels that you encamp round about us to protect us from the evil of this world. Oh God, we love you tonight. God, we draw nigh to you tonight so that you can draw nigh unto us. God, we love you. God, we're here tonight to hear a word from on high, a word that will give us some direction in a world completely filled with darkness. We love you, Lord. It might be my voice that they recognize and it might be my face that they know. But let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Tonight's message, then climate, then climate. Hallelujah. Jesus says in Matthew 17, verse 20, if you have faith, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Paul says in Romans, Romans chapter 1, verses 16, he says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. See, it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Jesus said in Matthew 17, verse 20, if ye have faith as the grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Jesus said, mustard seed faith will move a mountain. Jesus said, mustard seed faith will move a mountain. But, do not fall into the mindset that this will always be the way that God's children will overcome the trials of life, the mountains that we encounter in life. Do not fall into the mindset that this will always be the way that God's children will overcome the trials of life. No. Sometimes our faith is going to require that we climb up some of them trials to victory. Sometimes our faith is going to require that we climb up some of them mountains that we face on a daily basis to obtain our victory. The definition of the word climb is to make upward, to move upward with effort. To move upward with effort. Sometimes we're going to have to move upward. Job 17 and 9 says the righteous keep moving forward. Sometimes our faith is going to require that we climb, that we move upward with effort 
to some of them trials in order to get victory in life. Why? Because of Romans 12 and 3. God have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Since God has dealt to every man the measure of faith, that means we all have a grain of mustard seed faith. Everybody has a grain of mustard seed faith. Everybody has something that they can say unto a problem in their life to remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto them. God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. God knows that the measure of faith that he has dealt to you and I will not move every mountain, but that the measure will and should move you from faith to faith. It shall move you from faith to faith. Paul says, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. God knows that the measure of faith that he has dealt to you will not move every mountain, but that the measure will move you from faith to faith. So until, so until you obtain the grain of mustard seed that you can move, remove a mountain, you can climb it. Until you obtain the grain of mustard seed that can remove a mountain, you can climb it. So until you get the faith to the, the, that grain of mustard seed might not move it. So until you get the, 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 the faith to move it, you begin to climb the mountain. You begin to climb the problem until you get it. But you do not, you do not begin to operate in unbelief. You do not allow you know, that, that grain of mustard seed to be shipwrecked. First Peter 1 and 19, Paul says, holding faith. You got to hold that grain of mustard seed. You got to hold it and a good conscience. You got to have a good conscience when you're holding that thing. Holding faith and a good, and a good conscience with some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. See, a, a bunch of us have, we have shipwrecked the grain of mustard seed. We have shipwrecked the measure of faith that God has dealt to us because we can't handle the mountain. When Jesus sits right up and tells us, if we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, we can say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Until you obtain the grain of mustard seed that can remove a mountain, you climb it. You take that grain of mustard seed and you do what James 4 and 8 says. James 4 and 8 says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. God sits on top of mountains. God sits on top of mountains. God is on top of mountains. Exodus 24 and 12. God told Moses, and the Lord said to Moses, come up on top of the mountain and stay here. Come up on top of the mountain and stay here. And I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandments I have written for their instructions. Hallelujah. God will give you instructions on top of the mountain. All you got to do is draw nigh to God and God will draw nigh to you. God is on the mountain. You take your mustard seed of faith and you go from faith to faith. You go on top of the mountain. You climb it. 
You climb, you climb, you climb the problem with your eyes fixed on God. You climb the mountain with the holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away. Don't put away your faith. Don't put away that faith that God, that measure of faith that God has dealt to you. Don't put it away. Concerning faith, with some having made shipwreck. Don't let nothing shipwreck your faith. Don't let nothing shipwreck your faith. Hallelujah. God knows that the measure that you probably currently have right now will not move that problem that you got. But that the measure will move you from faith to faith. It's, it should move you up that problem though. Hallelujah. If your whole faith uh, and a good conscience which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. Don't shipwreck your faith. Don't shipwreck your faith. Don't shipwreck that measure of faith that God has dealt to you by operating in unbelief. We got to move from faith to faith. And until you obtain the grain of mustard seed that can remove a mountain, hallelujah, you climb it. In the name of Jesus, faith to faith. Jesus says, I am the vine and ye are the branches. Hallelujah. That mustard seed of faith got to come up out of the ground. Hallelujah. It's got to sprout. It's got to grow into a vine. And then it's got a branch. Hallelujah. Vines climb. Your faith ought to be in Christ who is the vine. And we are the branches as the vine begins to climb. As the vine begins to move upward with effort, amen. Hallelujah, what effort? Faithful effort. Believe in the word of God. As the vine begins to climb the mountain. As the vine begins to climb the mountain. Climbing from faith to faith. Going up the mountain. Overcoming the problem. Causing the problem to move to yonder place. Hallelujah. If you can't, if the mountain don't move, then you climb the mountain. Yes, Goliath was nine foot tall in the name of Jesus, but David climbed up the mountain and slew Goliath. You got to climb up the mountain. You got to climb, you got to take that grain of mustard seed of faith, and you got to take it from faith to faith in the name of Jesus. You got to climb the problem. You got to get up the mountain. You got to move with hallelujah and upward effort in the name of Jesus. You got to move upward with effort, having a good conscience. Hallelujah. Holding faith with a good conscience in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Abraham made the supreme climb. Abraham moved upward with effort when God told him what to do with Isaac. In Genesis chapter 22, verse 2, God told Abraham, he said, take your son. God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love so much. In the name of Jesus, it is something that you love so much that God has given to you. Do you love it so much? Hallelujah. God going to tell you, take that thing that you love. Hallelujah. So much and go to the land of Moriah. Hallelujah, which is the land of obedience for us. There on a mountain that I will show you offer him as a sacrifice to me. Sometimes God don't want you to speak to the mountain. God wants you to climb it. God wants you to hold faith with a good conscience and begin to climb the problem. God wants you to move from faith to faith in order for God to get us from faith to faith. We are going to have to climb some mountains. We're going to have to climb some problems. We're going to have to climb some problems. And when God tells us to go up to the mountain that I will show you, you and I need to climb it. 
We need to climb it with the conscience. God bless you, Sister Selena. I love you. Thank you for joining your pastor tonight. I love you, Sister Selena. Hallelujah. Sister Selena Abraham made the supreme climb. Hallelujah. To offer up Isaac. Hallelujah. We got a bunch of Christians today. We got a bunch of people that claim to be believers. Hallelujah. But they won't climb up the mountain. They'll talk about the mountain. They'll complain about the mountain. They'll whine about the mountain. But God is telling us there on a mountain that I will show you, offer him as a sacrifice to me. In the name of Jesus, God wants us to make a sacrifice to him. And sometimes he going to make us do it up on a mountain. Sometimes that must have seen the faith that God gives you. Ain't for you to move the mountain. It's for you to take that grain of mustard seed. And he wants you to go from faith to faith. He wants you to begin to move upward with effort. That effort is called belief. He wants you to move in belief. Hallelujah. I told you right here. Paul says uh, it is the power of God under salvation to everyone that believeth. Believeth is the effort in the name of Jesus. Move upward with belief. In the name of Jesus. God wants us to climb the mountain. God wants us to climb the mountain. Hallelujah. In belief. He wants us to believe his word that we can get over the problem, that we can climb the problem in the name of Jesus. It's time to begin. We got to start climbing some problems. This world throwing all types of mess at us, and we bowing down to it. We laying down to it. We got to begin to climb over some of the mess that we encounter on a daily basis because we are more than conquerors. Romans 8 and 37 says we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. The measure of faith God has dealt to us. The measure of faith God deals to you at the bottom of every mountain. You encounter will enable you to conquer every mountain you encounter. The measure of faith God deals to you at the bottom of every mountain you encounter will enable you to conquer Every mountain you encounter, all you got to do is to begin to climb it. That's all you got to do. Hallelujah. Every mountain top is within reach. If you just keep climbing, if you just keep holding favor with a good conscience in the name of Jesus, every mountain top is within reach. If you keep climbing, James 1, 2, and 3 says, Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Count it all joy when you run into these mountains, knowing this, that the trying of your faith, that the trying of your mustard seed, work in patience. Hallelujah. Every mountaintop, every mountaintop is within reach if you just keep climbing. Over every over every mountain top, over every mountain, there is a path. Although it may not be seen from the valley. I know David said in Psalms 23, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Just as the rod and the staff comforts in the valley, it will also comfort us on the mountain. All you got to do is hold it, hold your faith and a good conscience and keep climbing. Keep on believing the word of God over every mountain. There is a path, although it may not be seen from the valley. Hallelujah. Even though you don't see the path over every mountain. Hallelujah. Even though you don't see it in the valley, there is a path up every mountain. In the name of Jesus, Christ is that path. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him in John 14 and 6, I am the way. 
I am the path over every mountain. I am the path, I am the truth, and I am the light. No one comes to the Father. Where is the Father? The Father's on top of the mountain, waiting on you to move from faith to faith, waiting on you to put forth, uh, climb uh, with some effort, climb with some belief, uh, draw nigh unto God, and he will draw nigh unto you on top of the mountain. He'll draw nigh unto you on top of the mountain. He'll draw nigh unto you on top of the problem. Hallelujah. Christ is that path. Hallelujah. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Try whatever path you desire, but I promise you this, whatever path you take, other than Christ uh, will only lead to death. All you're going to be doing is walking all around the problem. You're going to be walking on top of the problem. You're going to be walking through the problem. You're going to be surrounded by the problem. But you ain't never going to get to the Father unless you take the right path who is Christ in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 14 and 12 and Proverbs 16 and 25 says, there is a way, there is a path which seems right unto a man when he encounters mountains, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Hallelujah. You got to climb the mountain. You're going to have to climb the mountain God's way. You're going to have to take the path that God has created for us to take in that path, in that way, in the truth, and the life. It's called Christ, and no one comes on top of the mountain except through him. Hallelujah. If you're climbing up the mountain on the right path, then climb it. Hallelujah. If you know that you're moving in the anointing, if you know that you're moving in the word of God, all you got to do is keep on moving Hallelujah, move in belief. Uh, hallelujah, keep on climbing. Keep on moving upward uh, with effort. Uh, keep on moving upward uh, with a good conscience. Amen. Keep on moving upward, uh, holding faith. Uh, don't allow nothing uh, on the mountain to shipwreck your faith. All you got to do is keep on moving on the right path. If you're climbing up the mountain on the right path, then keep climbing. Then keep climbing it. Keep climbing it. Climb it. Hallelujah. Pastor Reed, what is the right path? The right path is the way of the cross. Hallelujah. The right path is the way of the cross. Oh, yes, Sister Selena. Job 17 and 9. The righteous keep moving forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Sister Selena. We move forward holding faith and a good conscience. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the right path is the way of the cross. Hallelujah. You're going to have to climb that mountain with your cross. Matthew 16 and 24, Jesus said uh, unto his disciples, If any man will come after me in the name of Jesus. What did Jesus do? Jesus picked up the cross and he walked up Mount Golgotha to Calvary. Jesus had to walk up a mountain with that cross. If any man will come after me, because I am the path. God bless you, Sister King. I love you. Thank you for joining me tonight. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. So you got to deny yourself. Hallelujah. You got to deny yourself. Then you got to take up your cross. And then... You got to follow the path. You got to follow the way, the truth, and the life. Christ is that path. In the name of Jesus, you got to take up the cross, and then you got to follow the path. I told you right here, hallelujah, over every mountain there is a path, although it may not be seen from the valley. Hallelujah. 
the name of Jesus. Lord, teach us to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who refuse to climb, who refuse to climb it, who refuse to climb the mountain without the cross. Going up and down all types of problems, but they won't carry the cross with them. They won't get up on that cross. They won't follow him like he said. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. We don't deny ourselves. Because if you, if, because don't be a person that deny yourself, but not taking up your cross. Hallelujah. You got to deny yourself, and then you got to take up your cross, and then you need to climb it. And then you need to climb it. Hallelujah. To my brothers and sisters in Christ, who know what carrying the cross means, climb and keep climbing it. Hallelujah. Climb and keep climbing it. Matthew 6 and 33, Jesus says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. You're going to have to seek his kingdom and his righteousness. You want something to be added unto you? You're going to have to carry the cross. Hallelujah. You're going to have to carry the cross. You got to carry your cross to my brothers and sisters in Christ who know what carrying the cross means. Climb and keep climbing it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 45 and 5. Look what Jeremiah 45 and 5 says. It says, seek you great things for yourself. Seek you great things for yourself. Seek them not. Seek them not. For behold, I will, look what the Lord says, behold, I will bring evil on all flesh, saith the Lord. Seek ye great things for yourself. Seek them not. Don't seek them. Hallelujah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his rights. Oh, yes, Sister Selena, we got to crucify this flesh. That's why we got to take that cross Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, every time we climb that mountain, we got to take that cross and get up on that thing. Hallelujah. Because we got to keep climbing. Because if you don't take that cross, that flesh going to stop climbing. Hallelujah. It's going to stop climbing. So you got to crucify that flesh as you're moving upward with great effort, not allowing the enemy to tie you out from your faithful walk. Hallelujah. You got to climb holding faith and a good conscience which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck during the climb. During the climb. Take your cross. Take your cross with you. First Timothy 4 and 1. The Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, some will fall away from the faith. Hallelujah. The Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, some will fall away from the faith. The Spirit explicitly says that some are going to stop holding faith and they're going to stop having a good conscience. The Spirit says that in the latter times, some will fall away from the faith, paying attention, paying attention to deceitful things, to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. Hallelujah. Some will stop climbing. Some are going to stop climbing. Why? Because they're going to start climbing up on other mess, climbing up on adultery. Hallelujah. Men, Climbing in bed with other men married, climbing in bed with other men, with other women. Women married, climbing in bed with other men. Woman, come, come, ain't even out of the boys, then climb in the, into a relationship. You know about climbing. You know all about climbing. Men and women climbing in bed, doing fornication, won't even get married. Climbing in the organizations climbing in them. Black Lives Matter, 
Great effort to be a part of Hallelujah Masons. Great effort in the being Eastern Stars. Great effort in the being Alpha Kappa Alphas. Great effort in the being Omega Psi Phi's. Great effort in being a part of the NAACP. Great effort in the lifting up the LGBT. Great effort in the being Make America Great Again. January the 6th, last year proved it. Great effort to overtake the nation's capital. You know all about climbing. You know all about it, paying attention to deceitful spirits, deceitful, misleading, double-minded, hallelujah, stupid stuff, climbing. This past, last weekend was the prom, high school proms, the name of Jesus. Just as soon as the prom was over, my stupid cousins, make sure, family members, make sure you show my dumb, dumb cousins. My cousins put out a stupid mess on Facebook talking about they gonna have an adult prom on 27 August. Stupid stuff. Call themselves Christians. Call themselves Holy Ghost Bill. They ain't climbing the mountain to draw nigh to God, following the ways of the world. We having an adult prom on August the 27th. Deceit, double minded, double minded. The Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, some will fall away from the faith, fall away from the very thing that God has dealt to us. Stupid, yes, Sister Selena, stupid, talking about some stupid adult prom. Oh, yes, Sister Selena, they said they was going to have an adult prom on August the 27th. Yeah, my dumb cousins. I hope y'all show, I hope my family members show my cousins this, this teaching too. Stupid. Every time y'all do that stupid stuff, proves you stop climbing. And when, and, when, and when the enemy comes in like a flood, you ain't gonna be able to climb above it. David climbed high enough in the faith, oh yeah, probably at the church too. I know Sister Selena, probably at the church too, doing stupid stuff. They ain't climbing, so they ain't moving from faith to faith. They ain't moving from faith to faith, doing stupid stuff. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. David climbed from faith to faith to be Goliath, but when he saw Bathsheba naked, taking a bath, he stopped climbing. Lot's wife began to climb up the hill to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah, but when she looked back, she stopped climbing in the name of Jesus. Y'all gonna hear me today. Don't stop climbing. Keep climbing up the mountain. Keep on climbing in the name of Jesus. Psalm 66 and 18 says, If I regard, if I protect iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. That means if you're protecting that iniquity in your heart, that means you ain't climbing. You ain't climbing that mountain to draw nigh to God. You ain't doing that. Hallelujah. Climbing in your car to drive to the Masonic balls. Driving in your car to go to them Eastern Star balls. Hallelujah. Climbing in your car to go to them Omega Sci-Fi and them Alpha Kappa Alpha stepping shows. Climbing in your car to go down there to support them LGBT parades. Climbing in your car to go and drive to a hotel to lay down and have intercourse with somebody you ain't married to. Climbing in your car to go to have intercourse with somebody you ain't married to. In the name of Jesus, living in an apartment with somebody that don't got your last name, that you ain't went before a man or woman of God or a justice of the peace to make vows 
hallelujah, for them to be married to you too. You doing whatever you want to do. And then you say, you climb. You ain't climbing. You ain't climbing. You living in sin. You regarding iniquity in your heart. Protecting that mess. Saying you climbing. You ain't climbing. You ain't climbing. In the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 5, verse 25 through 34. A certain woman in the name of Jesus, which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many positions. Hallelujah. The Bible says God dealt every man a measure of faith. But this woman with this measure of faith went to many positions and then she had spent all that she had and was nothing better because she was going about it the wrong way. She was on the wrong path, had the measure of faith. You got the measure of faith, but you are on the wrong path, but rather grew up. But then uh, when she heard of Jesus, when she heard about the right path, oh yeah, Cousin Angie Tucker, hallelujah, they ain't climbing, cuz, they ain't climbing, they ain't cuz, they ain't climbing, Cousin Angie Tucker. They ain't climbing. Hallelujah. But this woman with the faith that God had dealt to her when she heard of Jesus. See, it's when you hear about Jesus. It's when you hear about the way, the truth, and the life. It's when you hear about it that you deny yourself. Take up your cross and begin to climb up the problem. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press. She began to climb, and she began to climb. She came in the press behind and touched his garments. Hallelujah. For she said, if I may touch, if I put some effort into touching the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole and straightway the fountain of a blood was dried up. The reason problems y'all got ain't drying up is because you ain't climbing. You ain't climbing the problem. You ain't climbing the mountain. You ain't drawing nigh to God so that God can draw nigh to you. You ain't seeking first the kingdom of God and all this righteousness so that these things can be added unto you straightway. The fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. And Jesus, watch this, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press, turned him about in the effort, turned him about in the upward movement uh, with effort that the woman, because the woman was in an upward movement of effort and Jesus turned around and met her in her upward movement of effort and he said, uh, who touched my clothes? Uh, who then climbed up that mountain? Who then climbed up a sick problem that they got? Somebody with a 12 year issue of blood uh, done climbed up that problem and touched the hem of my garment. Who touched me on top of the problem? Who done climbed up on top of that mountainous problem and touched my clothes? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, I got on the path. I begin to press because uh, I said in myself, uh, if I may but just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Oh, Lord, uh, I'm telling you all the truth. Then Jesus said in her, daughter, thy faith because you moved from faith to faith, because you moved from the grain of mustard seed all the way up the problem from faith to faith, because you moved from, hallelujah, the grain of mustard seed 
to the word of belief, it has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy mountain. Go in peace and be whole of thy mountain. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Climb and keep climbing. Hallelujah. Don't stop believing. Hold your faith with a good conscience. Because some, having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. Don't shipwreck your faith by stopping the climb. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Lord, teach us to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who have stopped climbing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. But if that grain of mustard seed faith don't remove that mountain, then you begin climbing that mountain. You start climbing it. You hold on to that grain of mustard seed and you begin to climb faith to faith until it draws you nigh to God. And then God draws nigh to you. And then he tells you, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy problem. In the name of Jesus. Lord, teach us to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who have stopped climbing and started doing stupid stuff. Hallelujah, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus above all else. Above all else. Climb above all else. Climb above it. Climb above it. Jesus. Jesus. My passionate life is to know. Then you better keep climbing. May all of the gold bow down. Where well, you gotta keep climbing. This journey of loving you more. Come on now. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You shower them. Shower them from on top of the mountain. Down on you. You're giving your love so freely. Because you won't stop climbing. There's one thing more. One thing I'm longing for. So please, please hear, hear my heart's cry. And the prayer for my life. You got a faith. You got a faith that will put you above all else. You got a faith that will put you above all else. Above all else. Above all else. You got a faith. Give me. Give me yourself. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can climb mountains. Jesus. My passion and life is to know you. May all of the goals bow down to the journey. My journey. My journey up the mountain of loving you more. Holding faith and a good conscience. Oh, Jesus. You showered. You better, you better not act like 
He ain't showered no goodness on you. You know he has. You know he's given you his love so freely. You know he has. But there's one thing I'm still hoping for, still longing for. So please hear. But well, are you climbing? Are you climbing while your heart's crying? Are you praying while you're climbing with your life? I don't need no stupid adult prom. I don't need no Masonic membership. I don't need no Eastern Star membership. He did that already. He did that already. When he died on the cross, when he died on the cross, he gave you himself. Every mountain you face in your life, God has given you a measure of faith to climb that problem. And since he's given you that measure of faith, then climb it. Climb it. Climb over the problem. The children of Israel did not have to climb over the walls of Jericho. They just had to climb over their lust when they got in it. And Achan didn't do it. The man of God from Judah should have climbed over the false prophet that asked him to come back to eat in Bethel when the word of God told him not to. Hallelujah. On the eight souls climbed into the ark back in the days of Noah. Only eight souls. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody over the age of 40 was able to climb out of the wilderness into the promised land because of unbelief. What's stopping you from climbing into the promises of God? What is stopping you from climbing into the riches promised to us as believers from the word of God. What is stopping you from climbing every problem you face in your life? You can overcome your lust for this world if Christ is the path that you choose to walk. That man that you women are in love with, the word of God loves you more than that man. Men, the woman that you're in love with, 
that you won't put a ring on her finger? The word of God is loves you more. You ain't fooling nobody but yourself running around saying you saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled. But you ain't climbing nothing. Even Zacchaeus, the tax collector. You know what a tax collector was in the Bible? The tax collectors were the Jews that worked for the Romans to tax the children of Israel and they taxed them wrongfully. But when Jesus came and Zacchaeus wanted to see him, he climbed up into the sycamore tree. And when Jesus saw him up in it, Jesus says, come down for today, I must abide at your house. All because Zacchaeus climbed up into the sycamore tree. You're gonna have to climb. You're going to have a faith. You're going to have a climbing faith. You're going to have a climbing faith, a faith that not only can move a mountain, but that will give you great effort to climb the mountain. I love you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will see you Sunday morning at 8 a.m. with Pastor King. And then I will be back before you Sunday at 11 a.m. with another word from on high. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I could not have had a better audience tonight. The people that were here tonight were who God wanted to be here tonight. I love you, Cousin Angie Tucker. I love you, Sister King. I love you, Sister Selena. I love you, boo-boo. I love you, mom and Mike. I love everybody that joined tonight that I couldn't see on here tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me tonight to hear this word from God on climbing that mountain. I love you. God bless you. Amen and amen.